That's a great name, though. Nice shirts. Hey, you know, what you got, what you got there? Ice, Ice Cube. Cube. Yeah. Today was a good day. Yeah. If you can say your name and who you're with, yeah. you can start it. It's Mike Melindy with Rolling Out. Love this movie. Love, love, love this movie. Thank you, man. One thing that stood out to me was the fact that they had this white voice that was yeah. going on. Where we had yeah. to try to change who we were in order to, to blend in with what society wants us to be. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had to change your voice or who you were in order to get further ahead in life? Hmm. I, I can say that I've always been me. Um, and again, I said this earlier, but the fact that, you know, I have, I remember being from Flint, Michigan and being accused of talking white, you know, and, and I just felt like I was being myself. Yeah. And a lot of times the opposite was true where I felt like I had to dumb down <laughs> and not speak the way I normally speak. But you know, you know what I'm saying, and you know, slur, and and I felt for that before, where it's not really the white voice, but it's your hood acceptable voice, you know, the mm -hmm. so that you can be acceptable and not feel like people thinking you are better than them or whatever. Right, absolutely. You know, this film it, it talks about so many relevant things, especially in the city of Oakland. Just knowing that this. It's such a relevant time to talk about gentrification mm -hmm. and racism and all that. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts about just this film and the timing and the relevance of the city and where it's taking place? It was perfect, perfectly timed. You know, I, th I feel like it was a, a um, Terry said earlier, we did not know how much we needed this film. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and, I, and it's hard to know um, how much you need something, obviously with it having these elements of social commentary, sci-fi, yeah. uh, uh, comedy, obviously, <laughs> you know, dark surrealism meets realism. So it's hard to know when it's all this hodgepodge or gumbo of different things. And then you get it and you go, it did affect me in whatever way it affected me. So, you know, and, and Stephen commented on that earlier, just to be affected is a good sign. Mm -hmm. right. Did you feel away? Just to feel away is good. Because you walk out of many things and you're like, eh, whatever. A oh. Agnostic, apathetic toward it. So... The timing was pretty amazing with the social commentary. And to think that even in terms of Kaepernick, he was representing that area. Absolutely. That was Oakland and San Fran. And, and so it says a lot. What age are you? Uh, 32. But you're an old soul. Yeah. Absolutely. So you, you know that you're oftentimes lonely within 32-year-olds that aren't as grown as they need be. You know what I mean? So this is a great piece for people that don't want to grow up. They got to kind of grow up. You got to walk Absolutely. away and go, okay, I see what Boots is getting at. Maybe I should learn up on some things a yeah. little bit more. For sure. Well, that's kind of what I was saying to you guys earlier in between was just like, you know, the knowledge that this movie intends to spread on its first layer, anyone can find it. Yeah. It's not inaccessible. That's on your news feed every day. Just terrible shit's happening all every the time. Every single day. The key to minutes. this movie to me is that, yes, it's telling you knowledge, but it's also telling you wisdom, which is that that feeling of seeing something that you've never seen before, which then breaks down every other box or limitation yeah. that, you know, after people see this movie, you're like, I can make a movie like that. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you know, that's right. it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, Stephen yeah, makes you a you really want. good point right. about the, the fact that... Um, I want to say this fast. I know you don't have a lot of time. Sorry, the take fact your time. that take your time. that Boots Rowley used characters to say what Stephen's saying. What I mean is, if the audience is left to be sat down and for the movie to say, "Hey, young blood, let me put you up on game," right? He had Danny Glover's character saying, yeah. "Hey, young blood, yeah. let me put you up." So it so nobody feels preached to because we're all learning. It's almost like Danny Glover's character was learning that which he was also he's reminded like somebody put me up on game. Let right. me. It's great. That's it's fun. so perfectly delivered. It Absolutely. Was so good. I agree. Well, I look forward to some more of your work. And you Thanks, guys are, man. You know, Thanks. Killing it. So keep it up. Thank you, man. Oh, nice Thank you, brother.